What's going on guys? JPreeze Reviews here with another Scotch review. This time we have the Dalmore. So this is the 12 year single malt Scotch whiskey. Basically the introductory uh, Scotch from their lineup. So we're gonna open this up and do a little tasting of it. So beautiful bottle. Honestly, as far as presentation goes, that's awesome. The color, man, that dark uh, reddish brown, that's, that's something else. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open, uh, do a little pour, and see how it is. So let's see if we can uh, get it open first. There we go. But yeah, this one has been on my list to try for quite some time, and ooh, there we go. Ooh, smells good. We'll do a little uh, taste from it. I've been wanting to try it for quite some time, like I said. I've tried a number of different scotches, and I like to try more of the introductory scotches, just to see what type of flavors we get, so... Uh, let's do a little smell, give you the aroma, uh, taste, and overall finish, and what, what I think. So, this is the Dalmore 12. Mm. So, overall, mm, it's a little bit, uh, how do I put it, fruity, and I definitely get some of the barrel as well. Um, very fragrancy. Uh, I would say pragmatic is that a word I don't know I'll make some stuff up but mm, maybe some uh, dark chocolate as well but overall definitely a little bit of fruit and some different fragrances to it it's a very delightful smell so let's do a little taste mmm oh wow yeah so that tropical taste, you definitely get more orange. Mm. Um, maybe some fig in there as well. More of the darker fruits, but it is that definitely orange forward to more of the darker fruits as well. Mm. Mm. And I am getting more of that little bit of either a chocolate or perhaps like vanilla extract that you get from a beer. Um, but in that, it's very nice. Mm. Um, yeah, and the finish overall, I definitely get some of the barrel aging, which is good, followed by a little bit of the alcohol warming. And I would say it's actually a decently long finish, so um, that's good. Maybe a little more chocolate at the end. Let me do one more. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Definitely a little bit more dark chocolate towards the end. The tropical fruit forward, I would say more dry fruit, followed by maybe a little bit more vanilla barrel. And then finishes with the alcohol warming and a bit of, I'd say, some dark chocolate uh, at the end. The alcohol is pretty well balanced, which I'm always happy for. This is uh, 40%, so overall, guys, wow. Can't believe it took me this long to try the Dalmore. Uh, this is actually very enjoyable. I could definitely see myself sipping on this every now and then um, on occasion, either on the rocks or just with a little bit of uh, water added, but perhaps just straight up like it is, so... It's very, very tasty. For the price point of $59.99, you can't go wrong with this particular scotch. So, I would say if you haven't checked it out already and you are a fan of trying new uh, scotches, especially the single malt, try the Dalmore 12. It's one that I, I've had on my list for a very long time. I'm very happy that I got a chance to try it. So, uh, Get a taste, let me know what you think, and uh, hit me with a comment. So, I overall give this probably an A as far as just introductory scotches go. 
So very tasty, very well balanced. I love the little tropical uh, kick, but it's more mellowed out with more a little bit of uh, the bitter taste from the dark chocolate, some of the vanilla, and the alcohol is very well balanced. It brings it all together. So overall, I think this is just fantastic. So let me know your thoughts, guys. And uh, that is the Dalmore 12. So look for it at your local store if you can find it. So appreciate it, guys. As always, cheers.